Good morning student. Today we are going to see the new lesson that is nouns. Singular and plural. Last period we have finished the first lesson possessives. So today we are continuing with the second lesson nouns. Before that there is a warm up activity given. We have to read the singular and plural noun pairs. If the plural has been formed correctly, we have to put a tick in the column C or else we have to write the correct plural form in column C. For example, oyster. What is the plural form of oyster? Oysters. Yes, it is correct. So, put a tick in front of it. Now, second one is trench. What is the plural form of it? Trenches. But in the column B, it is incorrect. So, we have to make it correct and write in the column C the correct spelling. That is T-R-E-N-C-H-E-S. Trenches. Okay. So, like that, we have to complete this activity. Here, the last one word is given, knowledge. So, what is the plural form of it? Knowledge is? Is it correct? No, it is wrong. The plural form for the knowledge is knowledge only. Why it is like this? Because uncountable nouns do not have a plural form. So, the plural form of the knowledge is knowledge itself. Now, there are some certain rules to make the noun into plural. Mostly, we add S or ES to the singular noun to make it plural. But there are some specific rules for when to add S and when to add ES to the singular noun. Rule number one is we also know that if a singular noun ends in S, double S, SH, CH or X. We add ES. One more time. When the noun ends in S, double S, SH, CH or X, then we add ES. Rule number two. The noun which ends in O or W, E. Usually add ES in it. In some singular nouns add S. And third one add either S or ES to singular nouns. Some nouns can take either. Third number the nouns which ends in A, E, O or U before Y. Remember, the noun which ends in A, E, O or U before Y, we add S. Rule number 4. The nouns which ends in a consonant and Y. Okay, the nouns which ends in a consonant and Y, we change the Y to I and then we add ES. Understood? The noun which ends in a consonant and Y, we change the Y to I and then add ES. Rule number 5. The noun ends in a vowel and Y, then we add S. Got it? The noun which ends in a vowel and Y, then we add 
S. Six. The noun which ends in F or F E, we change the F or F E to V and add E S. Got it? The nouns which ends by F or F E, we change that F or F E into V. And then we add es to that noun to make it plural. However, there are some nouns which do not form their plural in any of the ways listed. They are called irregular plurals. Means they remain the same in the singular form also and in the plural forms also. Some plurals are formed by changing the vowel in the middle of the word. Now, some words are there in that the vowels are in the middle of that word. So, while changing into it plural, we have to change that vowel in the middle of the word. For example, goose. Now, here double O is the vowel which is middle at the word. So, the plural form for it is geese. We have changed double O into double E. Next is foot, feet. Then man, men, mouse, mice, tooth, teeth, woman, Woman. So, in these words, we have changed the vowel which are middle of the word. And then we converted into plural form. Now, here one question is given. Question number A. Fill in the blank spaces by writing the correct plural form of the nouns given in bracket. The first one. Keep both your dash foot firmly on the wooden surface. Now the word is given foot. We have to convert it into the plural. So what is the plural form for the foot? Yes, it is feet. Second one. I show my dash tooth to a dentist regularly. What is the plural form for the tooth? Yes, teeth. Third one, I like the story about the five men. Sorry, third one, I like the story about the five men and six women. So, what is the plural form for the man and woman? For the man, it is men and for the woman, it is women. Fourth one, the white dash goose had pink legs. What is the plural form for the goose? It is geese. Correct. Fifth one. All the dash mouse in town followed the pied piper. What is the plural form for the mouse? It is mice. Yes. Correct. Now the next rule is. Some plurals are formed by adding en. Not all the time only s or es we have to add to make it plural. Sometimes we, we can add en to the noun to make it plural. For example, the word, the word is or the noun is child. Child is a singular. So what is the plural for the child? It is children. It is Children, we add en to the singular noun. Next is ox. What is the plural form for the ox? Yes, it is oxen. We add en to the word ox. Next rule is, some nouns have the same form for the both singular and plural. Means, they never change into plural form also. They remain the same for the singular and for the plural. Example, dear is a singular form. 
so we use dear in a plural form also ship singular form for the plural it remain ship fish fish cord cord okay so in this way we saw some rules for the nouns for the singular nouns to make it plural so we'll continue in the next period thank you